It's Westminster High versus the world. The competition is drone soccer, quite possibly the most ingenious way to get kids excited about careers in STEM. I just kind of thought it was weird at first <laughs> because it's like drone soccer. Like, how do you play soccer with a drone? I know, it's crazy, right? Drone soccer is like another version of Quidditch, kind of. <laughs> It's a five-on-five five competition. Uh, we have one striker that is trying to get through the goal. We would have like three defenders. One of them is specifically a keeper, which is like a goalie. It's a full contact sport, so the students get to, you know, uh, interact with uh, the other drones, and sometimes they break stuff, and it's a lot of fun. You basically learn how to uh, drone maintenance and drone uh, programming. It takes teamwork, I would say. It definitely takes communication skills. So basically today we're going to be playing with the Korean international team. It's just an opportunity for the uh, South Korean team to come here and come play the uh, USA team as a friendly match. Um, and then next week we're going to be go flying to South Korea and we will be uh, competing against them again in South Korea at the uh, World Tournament. So they were practicing um, spinning their drone with the hood and then keeping that in control. That's what they're doing. We're just kind of like basically showcasing drone soccer and making it more out there, especially since it's really new. Drone soccer is, it's an amazing thing. And you know, you get to meet new people. Like I'm meeting like people that are entirely, that speak entirely different language from like an entire continent. And um, I'm befriending them. And it's been very fun. And at the end of the day, it's just about, it's about fun. Those four students from Westminster going to South Korea later this month are part of the U.S. drone soccer team's first ever world championship team. Some of the students are even skipping graduation to go.